In this lesson, we're gonna look at the functionality and usage of tags. And I'm gonna use the same picture because it actually applies here as well. If resource lots could be applied at a subscription, resource group, and resource, well, when I think about a tag, a tag is just metadata. It's a key and then a value. And I can apply tags at a subscription, at a resource group, and a resource level. Now a key point about tags is it's metadata. It is not inherited. If I create a tag on a resource group, it does not get inherited and applied to the resources within the resource group. If I want that to happen, I can use Azure policy. I could have a policy that says, hey, if I'm missing a tag on this resource, um, copy the value from its parent resource group or copy it from its parent subscription. But under normal circumstances, these are not inherited. It's saying I set directly on a subscription, resource group, or resource. And it is just metadata. And typically as an organization, I'll have some scheme of the tags that I want to use and for their purpose. I think about using them for resource management. Maybe I'm identifying the environment, the type of resource, a business unit, maybe for cost management. I wanna tag a certain cost center. It might be security. Hey, this is a confidentiality based resource or it's public. Maybe regulatory, I need to tag it with regulatory compliance applies to these resources. I can configure it through all the normal means, a template, a PowerShell, a CLI, um, I can use the portal. If I want to enforce the creation of tags, so if I want to enforce this, well, I would use Azure policy, which is something we're gonna talk about. But this is how I could enforce the requirement of the tag. Now be careful with that. If I enforce tags to be present, and I don't specify the tag, or maybe I'm using some template where I can't, it won't let me create the resource. So just be careful of doing that kind of enforcement. But they're just metadata on the resource. I could apply it to anything. So this kind of storage account we were looking at, hey look, there's tags option. And you'll actually notice it has this tag here, cost center core ID. Now I didn't manually set that, what actually happened is I have an Azure policy that's automatically setting that tag. But if I actually jump over and look at, for example, my virtual machines, if I look at my demo VM, and I look at its particular tags, well, here, let's have a quick look. You can see, hey, I've got that idea of cost center tag there, but I could go and maybe add additional ones. Maybe I want things like, hey, environment. And I could go and set a particular environment. Maybe this is dev. And it's showing me just from the, the browser perspective values I've used before, but it's just key values. I might add in something like, for example, owner. Well, I'll say that's me. And I can go through and create these things that might matter to me based on what I think is useful things I might as an organization want to search on because I can search on these tags. Remember, I can also do billing based on these tags. I might have, for example, OS. So maybe I'll put in here, okay, Windows 11. So I can create all these tags and then apply. So now these tags exist on this particular resource. So I'll just click out that. And you can now see, hey, these tags exist. And so many different things that I can interact with, I can actually go and look and filter on those tags. So I always look at my maybe subscriptions and look at my dev subscription and then look to all my resources. You can see there's just a ton of different things here, but you could add a filter, for example, and I might say, hey, a certain tag, I only want to see the tag where the OS equals, oh, I could put in, see if I, get it correctly, Windows 11, apply. So now I'm searching based on that tag. So it's metadata, it's really there for our management purposes, but it's super, super powerful. So definitely recommend have a policy in place for your organization of which tags you want. And if they're super important, you can use Azure policy to enforce 
the values that you want them to actually create and populate. 